All right, so you have a move in the near future. Maybe the Finger Lakes is one of those spots that you just wanna pick up and move to. Today, we're talking about the top reasons you should move to the Finger Lakes in 2023. What's up guys, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony, this is my partner Avery, and we are American Home Team. Guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursday that we release a new video. Thousand percent guys, and we are licensed realtors here in the state of New York, so that means as much as we love making these cute videos for you guys, we would love <laughs> even more to help you make a smooth move to upstate New York, to the Finger Lakes and the Rochester region. And without further ado, today we're talking about the top reasons that you should move to the Finger Lakes here in 2023. Yeah guys, so moving right into it, number one is gonna be affordability of homes, right? So in the Finger Lakes, we average anywhere in the in the past couple years, anywhere from about, what, 215 to $230,000 for your average home price. And that is very affordable compared to a lot of, you know, the rest of the state and especially the rest of the country. Yep. Guys, majority of the country, you're looking at an average home price of say 450,000 or yeah. even some parts upwards of 500, 600,000. Even on a lot of the lower ends, it's like 350. Yep. And you're getting less house for that price yeah. in a lot of other parts of the country. Yep. Whereas here in the Finger Lakes, a lot of buyers, it seems like a lot of buyers are even in the less than 200 price range, yep. right? Yep. And so, and they're still very nice houses. So affordability here in the Finger Lakes is by far, I think, one of the best in the country. Absolutely. All right, and the second reason that you should move to the Finger Lakes in 2023 is the wide range of properties available. And what we're talking about here is the fact that we have everything from historic Victorian homes to historic colonial homes to new construction ranches, new construction condos, lakefront homes like this one right here. I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> but yeah, ranches. Uh, we have city homes, village homes, apartments, condos, townhomes. So, so really you're talking about properties that have maybe a ton of land, uh, many, many acres, or properties that have Farms. Half an acre or uh, almost no land, right? Yeah. When you have a condo, maybe it's shared land, but it's also an amenity of maybe an HOA or uh, some sort of neighborhood association where those things are taken care of for you so yeah. you don't have to maintain the land. Right. So there's a variety of different options here. And most likely, I'm going to say 99.9999999, repeat it, <laughs> you're going to be able to find a property that suits your needs, yep. whatever that may be. Yep. One of the big things that's uh, being developed around here now is the no step homes. Mm -hmm. So essentially a ranch, right? But literally no steps. You could wheel your wheelchair straight in, no bumps, you're good to go or you really don't have to pick up your feet to get into the home. You or can the just, shower, or yeah. the bedroom, or literally anything. And That's a big thing here now. Yep, and what's nice about some of these is there's a, a property that we've done a lot of marketing on that is right on Cuca Lake, and it is just amazing. Yep. It's no step at all. There's zero steps going in from the curb outside all the way through the house. Not a single step, unless you want them in there. But you can, if one of your kids breaks his leg, heaven forbid, right? Hope that doesn't happen. Kids are kids though, it's probably gonna happen at some point. When they do, then you won't have any steps to step up. So <laughs> there, yep. there's literally anything that you're ever gonna need here. Yep. Whereas maybe some other states, they don't have such a wide range of property, maybe because of terrain or yep. weather patterns or something like that, right? Yeah. You can find homes with just a single slab or you can find homes with basements. basements. 13 course basements. 14 course basements. Yeah, we have it all here. Yeah. All right, guys. So moving along kind of in connection with the variety of uh, or the wide range of properties that we have here in the Finger Lakes, there are tons of opportunities for investment properties, yep. whether you're talking short term rentals like Airbnbs or you're talking a long term rental. Yep. There's something for every type of investor here. Now, you have to be careful because with Airbnbs being so popular right now, some jurisdictions are imposing uh, moratoriums. Yep. 
And so the moratorium says that you can't buy a house for Airbnb. There can't be new Airbnbs, right? Because this area with the grapes, the wineries and the breweries and the mountains and everything else, the lakes, it's a highly desirable vacation hub where we have, we bring 5.6 million people to the Finger Lakes every single year. And I think that's increasing. So people see the opportunity in the Airbnb space and the towns don't really like that. They want people living in our towns instead of uh, renting uh, in our towns, or I guess just hopping from place to place. Um, so you do have to be careful with the Airbnb thing. There are still plenty of places that you can purchase properties specifically for Airbnbs, but the long-term rental thing here is great. There's a lot of uh, single family homes that, uh, they, I mean, they warrant premium dollar, very high rental prices, 2,500 bucks or 3,000 bucks, right? Depending on the size of the home, you can even get $1,000 for a single family home or we, a yeah. duplex, quad, yep. you name it. There's everything from section eight rentals all the way upwards of luxury rentals, like yep. Avery said, three, $4,000 even, yep. if that's something that you're looking for. And back to the uh, Airbnb, the moratorium, we're not condoning it by any means, but people are still doing it until that process is, normally it's just a six month wait period or something like that before they approve your house or your property for Airbnb. Most people are getting it approved. And some people just some, don't care. Some people, they kind of bend the rules a little bit. Again, not saying we condone that. We're not responsible for any <laughs> anything that Lawsuits. happens, right? But people are doing it. So there's tons of opportunity out here to make a little bit of extra cash yep. if that's what you're looking to do. And another great thing, because in the Finger Lakes, there is some extra land. You could get a home with a barn on it, renovate that barn to have a ancillary uh, dwelling unit or accessory dwelling unit rather, and rent out that unit, right? So you might have an apartment in your pole barn Right, your pole barn has your your mower in there. It has some, you know, lawn equipment, things of that nature. Maybe your cars. Maybe you're a mechanic. But you rent out another part of the barn to maybe a college kid, or maybe it's your kids. Right, you're you're trying to make some money off your kids. They owe you for raising them and or, whatnot. But. Or you rent out the barn for other people's toys. So there's all sorts yeah. of options. You can also rent out farmland too. That's right. Um, to farm and grow crop and whatnot. So tons of opportunity. You're not going to run out of choices for investment purposes. Right. All right, guys, and moving forward, we have very stable home prices. In a lot of the country, with a recession or a looming uh, depression maybe, a lot of homeowners are seeing some decreased equity in their home, which means the property value goes down. We're still the number two market in the United States. Home values here have continued to go up, right? Even in this little um, kind of patch post pandemic that we've been working in, um, whereas a lot of states throughout the country are working in the buyer's markets here. Yep. We still have a heavy, heavy seller's market. We're still working with about a month of inventory. So we still have very heavy demand for buyers mm -hmm. and that is just cranking prices up. And even through times like 2008, right? If you go back that far, Rochester and the Finger Lakes home values really did not fluctuate much. Yeah, they stayed steady. And, and so I think that is super important when you're looking to become a homeowner. You don't want to necessarily have to fear about, hey, what if my home value goes down? Right. And for whatever reason, we have to sell, right? Maybe we lose our jobs, we have to sell. Things happen, life happens, right? It's a good peace of mind to know that your property value is going to maintain its value, if not increase in value by a certain percentage every yeah. year. And ultimately what we're saying is that buying in the Finger Lakes is always gonna be a good investment. Yep. All right guys, last but not least, the next reason that you should move to the Finger Lakes in 2023 is because of all of the amenities and the sense of community that we have here in the Finger Lakes. Yeah guys, so regardless of what town you're in or what lake you're on in the Finger Lakes, you're still only a short drive away from local amenities, uh, shopping and things to do, right? So there's a Wegmans almost in, <laughs> it seems like every town, every town now yeah. in the Finger Lakes and Rochester regions. There's other uh, major shopping centers. There's, if there's not a Wegmans, there's a Tops, there's Walmart, there's Lowe's, there's Harbor Freight. There's all these different shopping centers that you can go to if 
for literally whatever you need. I heard that Ikea is thinking about coming into the Rochester region. Yep. That's one of the few things that the Rochester region doesn't have. So hopefully Ikea can come to our region here soon. Ikea, if you're watching this, we can point you in the right direction on where you can go and what kind of warehouses you can have. And there's some great areas up here for Ikea and the residents would love Ikea Absolutely. in the area. <laughs> Absolutely, and here's the thing. I was thinking about starting a business because my wife is super good at setting up Ikea furniture. So my wife can be like your brand ambassador or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, a little shameless plug there. But, uh, but yeah, guys. There's no shortage of amenities here. And then, like we mentioned, I forget what video it was now, but Buffalo is the city of good neighbors. Rochester and the Finger Lakes is right behind it yeah. as far as great neighbors. All of our neighbors, I know all of my neighbors, all of Avery's neighbors, super friendly. Every neighbor that we've ever had is super yeah. friendly. You go into the grocery store, bump into someone, they're not even mad. Yeah. They, <laughs> they, they Don't try that though. <laughs> Don't try they, it. They laugh and they, you know, shrug it off and be like, and everyone apologizes, right? Even if it wasn't their fault, they apologize. So everyone is super friendly. You're never going to have a hard time with the people around here. I was talking to some clients last night, actually. They're from Bakersfield, California, and they've visited up here a couple of times. And they said that it seems like an area where everybody knows everybody. And it's super true. Uh, you know, while we might not know every last person, we know businesses here, right? Like if there's a business here, you know about them. If there's uh, somebody to be known, you're gonna know about them. And chances are that, for example, those clients uh, are selling a house here in Shortsville, New York. Turns out I never met these people they're a referral of mine, but it turns out that their grandson is dating our cousin. Small world. We had no clue. <laughs> and my cousin didn't refer them to me, right? So it, it was just uh, luck of the draw, but we are a very small town. And so if you know someone, I probably know those people too. There really is that sense of community here. And so when you go to the festivals, when you go to the breweries, the wineries or the lakes or whatever, you're bound to bump into someone that you know, like and trust. So what's really cool about that too is that if you know you take it to a perspective of maybe school sports or something or some sort of extracurricular activity, say it's the school band or the spelling bee, right? If if a student or a kid is going on a national level for a competition, right? Whether it's swimming or football or, or band or something, everybody in the area Area is going to be cheering them on yeah everybody in the area is going to be rooting for them and it's super cool to see that sense of community for example we can also look at this was more nationwide but you look at the unfortunate incident of Demar Hamlin on the Buffalo Bills mm -hmm. right and you should have seen the community around here everybody was donating to the charities. Everybody was getting together and, you know, just putting their armor on each other because being such a, a sports-centered uh, kind of area, it was just super important for us all to kind of hold on to each other and make each other feel loved and like feel important and everything. So I, I just think it's pretty cool. The area is just super friendly. Everyone's a good neighbor here and it's just really enjoyable, That's right. I guess. Yep. <laughs> all right, guys, so there you have it. The top reasons why you should move to the Finger Lakes in 2020 23. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell so you're notified every Tuesday and Thursday that we release a new video. And reach out to that phone number and that email address. Shoot us a text, a phone call, an email. We are the guys that answer those texts, emails, and phone calls. We'd love to hear from you and help you make a smooth move to the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York. And until the next video, catch you guys later. See ya. Have a good one.